testing the network, ping and ICMP protocol. So how do you test a network? As we know, IP is a best effort protocol, which means there is no guarantee that your data or your packet is transferred to the intended destination. So how do we know if there is a problem occurred during the transmission of your data? There is a protocol for that. We call it ICMP. ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. Okay, ICMP protocol is available for both IPv4 and IPv6. It's an informational uh, message protocol, which means it has two basically applications that uses uh, ICMP, ping and trace route. Uh, we're gonna talk about it later in this uh, module. And the second part that ICMP is used for is error mechanism, error recovery messaging protocol. So it's a layer three protocol and the information, the ICMP information is encapsulated in an IP packet. So no transport header is required for uh, basically to run this protocol. And also knowledge of ICMP control message is an essential part of network troubleshooting. The ICMP packets are identified by type and code messages or fields. So the first application that uses ICMP is a ping application. And ping application basically is used, uh, is a utility that used to verify connectivity to an IP host. It measures the round trip time, which we also call RTT of the messages that are sent from the originating host to a destination computer. Ping uses an ICMP echo message to determine if a host is reachable or not. A host initiates a ping, which is, you know, an ICMP echo request, and the destination replies with ICMP echo reply message. ICMP only reports on the status of the delivered packet to the source node. Okay, so now let's uh, look into how we are or you can basically test the local stack of your machine. So you can ping the local host by writing ping space 127.0.0.1 which is the IP address of local host and that basically confirms that IC TCP IP is installed and working properly on your machine and basically pinging 127 causes the device to ping itself all right so if you want to test connectivity to the local LAN so this is this is how you know the these are the steps that are taken so let's say you, you are basically, you know, uh, ping a machine or the default uh, gateway, which is 10.0.0.254, which is the address of the default uh, gateway or the default router. So that the machine is going to send an echo request to the default gateway. And the default gateway is going to reply with an echo reply ICMP message. And this basically tells that the network is functioning and you know you are connected to the network what if you want to test connectivity to a remote host a host a machine which is located outside the network i mean outside your network so for that let's say if you want to ping a machine with the ip address 10.0.1.1 which is not the machine located in your network and uh, how do i know about this because of the network part the network part of this ip address does not match with the network part of my ip address so which means that this machine is belongs to some other network so that that request goes to the you know the default gateway router and there is going to be a table in that router and and the router is gonna basically you know forward this packet 
to the uh, actual uh, network machine or host where that machine is located or part of. And then that machine is going to basically send the echo reply message back to the sender. So if it works and if you receive the echo reply message, that means that the network or, you know, the whole network, which consists of, you know, these small networks, they, they all are functioning. So this is how you basically test the connectivity to a remote machine. So the next application is trace route, and that application also uses ICMP uh, messages, and it basically tests the path that a packet takes from source to destination. So uh, ping was used to indicate the connectivity between two hosts. Now trace route is used to observe the path between the two machines. It basically lists down the number of hops, the hops that it takes uh, from source to destination. And if the data fails at some hop along the way, we have the address of that last router that responded to the trace indicating where the problem is. All right, so now let's look into uh, an example of how you basically use the trace route application. First of all, when you execute the command, uh, the application, the trace route application is going to send a packet uh, with the TTL field um, 1. TTL means time to live. So when it when it it is received by the first hop router, that router is going to decrement the TTL field and it's going to send back the ICMP time exceeded message to the source. And then the source is going to know the round trip time that it takes to, uh, you know, send the packet from from uh, itself to the first hop, which is the router. And then it's going to send an, another packet with the TTL field now set to 2. And this time, the, the, the second hop router is going to reply back with an ICMP error message, uh, uh, time extended error message. And this way, the, the sender knows how, how much time it takes uh, to send a packet in two hops. And then it sends the packet uh, with the TTL field set to 3 and so on until it reaches to the destination. And once the destination receives the packet, so the TTL field is going to be 0. But uh, since it is the destination, so the destination is going to send a port unreachable message uh, back to the sender. Uh, in order, I mean, and this helps the sender to find out that the, this response is basically, you know, uh, being sent by the receiver by the destination. This is how traceroute works. All right, so we talked about, uh, you know, ICMP uh, protocol and two applications that use the ICMP protocol. One is the ping application that tests the connectivity of the host. The other is uh, the traceroute application that basically tests uh, the path that basically is taken uh, from source to destination.